Okay, so hot take on the whole situation with Haley Bailey, right? Maybe it's not quite hot, more like lukewarm, but still. I don't think that the right thing is being canceled here. And I say thing just in general, but like, I don't think she's the one who should be getting canceled. I think that the whole concept behind the Met Gala is the big issue here. And her posting this is literally just holding up that mirror. The Met Gala continues to exist in a universe where the wage discrepancy and the class discrepancy between the 1% and the normal people of society is massive, right? Meanwhile, we're sitting in a society where this 1% is buying $75,000 tickets to attend the Met Gala, anywhere between 10 to hundreds of thousands of dollars on their outfits for the Met Gala. And then you also have to take into consideration the food waste, and I've seen the food from these places, and I'm sure you have too, because those photos got leaked. That food does not look worth $75,000 fucking dollars. But at the same time, like... It's literally just a pissing contest for rich people, right? Sorry, kids. Meanwhile, these are also the same people who have no problem joining the cacophony of uh, voices speaking out against companies like Timu and Shein because it, the practices behind these companies tend to be morally devoid. And the quote itself, let them eat cake, comes from a woman who was beheaded during the French Revolution because of her exorbitant spending habits. What does that sound like to you? She's going out and she was spending insane amounts of money wearing amazingly giant dresses, sometimes covered in the most expensive of fineries between jewels and flowers. Again, what does this remind you of? Meanwhile, all of the people in the, in, involved in the French Revolution, all of the French at the time, that weren't in that royal setting were starving. They were struggling day in and day out because their income wasn't enough in order to make sure that they could continue to survive. <sighs> At this point, do I have to repeat the sentence? Housing crisis, wage issues, medical care that is just complete fucking garbage, uh, an attempt at some type of social um, assistance programs that are wildly misappropriated and incorrectly utilized. All of these things continue to exist in society today. And they're just as bad, if not worse, depending on where you live. And yet the 1% continues to go to things like the Met Gala and spend $75,000 on nothing more than a pot calling the kettle black event of where they can showcase, ooh, look at how much money I have. Look at my fancy, fancy dress. Meanwhile, everybody else is stuck buying shit that they can barely afford that's already worth pennies. Homes that are falling apart if you even have a home and all sorts of situations where we're basically just trying to scrape by because we can't fucking afford grapes. We live in a society where McDonald's costs the same amount as Applebee's and yet they have the continued audacity to wonder why people are overweight. But don't worry, they spent their $75,000 for that one fucking ticket to the Met Gala. I wholeheartedly think her choosing this single line for that one video says a lot more than I think she intended to. I'd love to sit here and tell you that Haley Bailey was thinking twice when she made that video and she intentionally chose Marie Antoinette because it makes a giant glaring neon sign above every motherfucker's head at that event saying we are the problem. Considering the fact that she was there as an actual guest, though, and she genuinely went wearing that and she spent the $75,000, I don't think that was the thought process. I think she thought pretty dress and flowers and rich and it matches a lady who wore pretty dress and flowers and was rich. But if nothing else, I think we all kind of know exactly what really needs to be canceled. It's the Met Gala. <laughs> well, mom, I found a crazy... Even my 10-year-old knows. I want to finish this off with my favorite historical quote. Those who do not know history are destined to repeat it.